Kwanza nataka niwaambie watu ambao mko hapa. Usiogope mtu yeyote na asiwatishe mtu yeyote kwa maana hatutendi jinai katika haya tunayoyafanya. Tunatimiza haki yetu na wajibu wetu kwa taifa hili na vizazi hivi kwa kuwa nchi hii tunaipenda. Na lazima tuiweke kwenye mstari. As, hizi kelele za watu wamefeli hawa tutakutajia tuta, we, we don't want even to waste our time kwa sababu katika maisha yangu ya umri huu nilionao naenda 47 sasa 46 sijawahi kuona mwanajeshi anemtishia mtu nitakupiga risasi adui unamshuti humu alert kwangu na shuti kwa naomba ni watoe hofu msimuogope mtu yoyote sisi ni self made hakuna mtu ametutengeneza sisi hiyo nimeondoa hofu kwangu cha pili Mtaanza na haya nayotaka kuyazungumza kwa sentensi hii. Na mkumbuka mwalimu wangu alikuwa ananifundisha physics miaka hiyo waliosoma mkoa wanamjua ngui. Aliniambia hivi, you miss or apply a, la- a wrong formula in mathematics, ultimately you get a wrong answer finally. Apply formula mbaya au ambayo sio kwenye hesabu utapata majibu ambayo sio sawa and this is the call why we are here today politics ni very addictive ukihusisha na siasa unakuwa kama tege hivi ni kitu ambacho hutaki kuacha ukizoea kukaa kwenye siasa na ikafika mahali ile identity yako kama mwanasiasa au kama chama cha siasa inapotea definitely inachanganya sana hiyo 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 ni, ni iko dunia nzima dunia nzima nimemwona babu yangu Trump hapa amehangaika kweli kwa sababu ile identity yake kama mwanasiasa ilikuwa inapotea okay na ukizoea kwa chama kikubwa cha siasa kama hawa wanaojiita chama kikubwa cha siasa na nyakati zikaamua tofauti kwamba wewe sio chama kikubwa cha siasa unatulia na kujipanga na uchaguzi ujao between now na 2025 hakuna uchaguzi mwingine ukikataa kuikubali hali hiyo kwamba wewe sio mkubwa tena it gives you nightmares it gives you sleepless nights naelewa umezoea kuwa mbunge mmezoea kuwa chama kikubwa and all that hizo ni privilege za wanasiasa sasa sio kwa hiyo mnapokuwa mmepoteza ile identity mnatakiwa kukaa na kujipanga kwa sasa what is the next course of action kuna uchaguzi ngine 2025 hatuwezi kusema ukuu tuliokuwa nao kwa sababu tuna wabunge wengi bungeni sasa hatunao tunaendelea ku maintain ile identity haiwezekani it cannot happen hiyo sio formula ya kisiasa unakaa pembeni unajipanga na uchaguzi ujao kwa sababu haturudi uchaguzi tena unapongangana kwamba sisi ni chama kikuu kwa wabunge wapi kwa representation ipi kwa namba ipi tukisema yanaanza matusi na nini sasa ndio mna wanachama wengi sana kama mnavyosema ambao nafikiri wanakuwa misleaded wanaanza kufanya vitu vinakuwa personal Convert, convert that number ya wanachama wenu waende kuwa representation bungeni sio maneno ya mdomoni you cannot tell me kwamba tuna watu milioni kumi. i need to show what are the results and the failure to understand this ndio inatuleta kwenye hii maisha yake ambayo tuko nayo regrettably you cannot barricade others because you are because of your political ambitions this is wrong And if you don't want to listen to criticism then that's a very serious syndrome and uh, as a politician mature politician you need to understand you are not insulated to critics you are not tunavyowapinga ccm tunavyowapinga acts tena wana ngozi ngumu kweli ACT. it has to be the same sasa kwa nini nimesema haya kumekuwa na migongano mimi hizi sio mambo zangu sifanyaji vitu hivi kwa sababu we have a lot of stuff to do lakini kumetokea mikanganyiko ya miongelewa maneno mengi sana ambayo yamefika mahali yanaanza 
kuaminika tunadhani hatima ya harakati za Tanzania na agenda za wanasiasa wa Tanzania zina collide then zinaleta shida very serious na nitaisema hivi wanasiasa kokote duniani kazi yao ni moja tu they are fighting for opportunity to rule citizens hicho ndio wanachokitaka hawana kingine wanataka wachukue madaraka waongoze na wanaongoza ni watu lakini activist kazi yao ni kufight for the cause for the citizen against wanasiasa so these two camps ziko parallel lakini mara zote kwa siasa zetu za Kiafrika wanasiasa wakitaka kitu kutoka kwa wananchi wanajifanya ni activist is very common huwezi kumkuta mwanasi mw, mw, activist au mwanaharakati kwenye ballot papers you cannot kwa sababu lazima awe mwanasiasa lakini utamkuta mwanasiasa anajivalisha joho la yeye kuwa mwanaharakati ambitions zake sio hizo these are the same people wakitoka nje ya wakikosa nafasi za kuwawakilisha wanakuja na lalamika kwamba wabunge hawakati hawakati kodi they were there 20 years hawakuona hii kwa nataka niwapeleke taratibu sana na mfika mahali nataka mfanye a very informed decision tufika mahali tuweze ku separate kati ya wanasiasa na wanaharakati yameongelewa maneno kweli sio kwamba sisikii nasikia wavumilia lakini wakati mwingine yanakuwa makali kweli inabidi nijibu it's not my style sikudhani kama nahitaji kujibu lakini taanza kujibu hoja zifuatazo but I'll answer that in seriati kwa mcha, kwa 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 kwa, kwa mtiririko and then watu watachangia tuta kama wana maswali tutajibu and then we call it off watu hii jumale wakapumzike jana kumefanyika tukio moja la ajabu sana kikundi cha vijana wa chama kinachojiita kikuu cha upinzani i don't uh, I, i don't take them with chama cha upinzani kwa kikubwa kwa sababu kuna representation bungeni kwa hiyo huwezi ukapewa ukuu uh, now just because of that uh, that's the principle wanafikiri wa, they have ownership ya movement na opposition kwenye hii nchi this is very wrong chama hawana ownership ya any movement or anything in this country na hii ni hoja muhimu sana kujua kujipa ownership ya kila mpinzani kila activist kila anayefanya opposition is wrong ndio maana unaona wanasema vyama vingine sio vya upinzani ni vibaraka except sisi who are you who are you to judge others who said you are better than others ukuu huu amewapa nani jana kwenye hizo mambo zao sio ndio za mimi sijuaji hizo vitu kuna mtu alinipa tu ID yake nikaingia mtu anadirika anasema kabisa kigogo asingekuwa hapo kwa sababu ya kwetu sisi do you know me do you know where i'm coming from do you know what cause i'm fighting for he know nothing he know nothing about these things hamu own mtu yote kwenye hinchi even wanachama wenu hamu own That's why they cannot stand with you for some of the very critical things that the leaders of that party they want them to stand for. You not only anyone. Hamjipa ukuu huo. Na haya ni mambo ambayo yamechukiza mtu anasema kwamba amekuwa hivi because of us. Guys, I'm self-made. And I grew to where I am because of what I was believing. Wakati wa kipindi cha Magufuli. Magufuli was a ruthless leader ever seen in this country. And everyone knows tulikuwa tunapambana naye kwa sababu freedom of expression it was not there it cannot be the same tune that you guys you want people to dance because of your political ambitions you cannot use the same bullet ambazo mlikuwa mnampiga nazo magufuli to mama to samia you cannot do that if you do that then that is hatred that is not opposition hiyo manake mnachukia chukia wadi tu it cannot be that mtu unasema huyu tunamuoni sisi tumemfanya alivyo naongea hapa mtanisaidia hawa ndugu zangu mtawauliza can you ask any one of them kama misha kunipata shilingi 200 kwamba hebu weka voucher yes you own me sasa haya ni mambo ambayo yakiachwa 
yatakuwa yataaminika ni kweli na mawazo ya hivi mtu akifikiri kwamba anakuown ikafika mahali huamini ambacho anakifanya kwamba ni sahihi lipacha yake inakuwa namna hii kuna mtu anafika mahali anazungumza kwamba huyu anatupinga sisi kwa sababu kisi wamempa hela sisi wao wamempa hela guys mimi kama ningekuwa mtu wa kupokea hela ningesha muuza mwenye kitu wenu long time ago and you need to understand that and the fact mwenye kitu wenu can take a phone call call me as a fact mwenye kitu wenu can be liberate ask me things about when I feel as I on certain things about when I'm going to online i deserve that respect ningemuuza mwenye kitu wenu why young kwenye hivi you are not owning anyone and um, kwenye mambo haya stop thinking mmeshikilia destiny ya watu nilifadhaishwa sana jana na lema anazungumza kwamba hakuna mtu aliyepingana na chadema akasurvive na haswa hili ndio nimesema niliseme wa Tanzania hawa wajue survival kwa sisi tunaosoma sayansi maana yake having a living on a certain living organism hiyo ndio tunaita survival someone is surviving kwa anapotoka kiongozi wa chama kabisa anaongea kwamba huwezi ka survive i can say this is a threat to life na ametoa deadline you cannot finish three weeks you will not survive mimi nalindwa na Mungu lema you cannot predict my destination chadema you don't own the destination ya mtu yoyote kwenye nchi if you will kill people kama mmezoea kuua watu i can guarantee you a living god is protecting people who are standing to protect other people who are prepared but i guarantee you if i will not survive within three weeks the last thing that i will do i will die while i'm smiling and loving the people of this country ambao mna wa mislead na mna wa mislead kwa sababu hamtaki muambie ukweli mtu akiwaambia ukweli anakuwa adui yenu kwa hiyo nimesema hii um, naomba ifahamike kwamba um, kuna threat and um, imekuwa very direct sasa sisi ni watu ambao tunawasiliana na mamlaka hizi it will be communicated huko aliko lema labda clarify aondoe hii hofu lakini threat to life kwa mtu it will put him into task imezungumzwa kwenye kitu ya jana on the similar note which i want to clarify as well kwamba mimi nimekuwa whistle blower na wao wananisaidia wananipa information sikumbuki lini sikumbuki lini mwenye kiti wao anatishwa mabunduki huko na wakina huyu mtoto yuko gereza ni sunani wakamuuliza nani alimwambia mwenyekiti wao watu wana print ballot paper hapo jamana wakamuuliza mwenyekiti wao nani alimwambia sasa kuna vitu vingine wanalazimisha tuseme tusingepasha kusema lakini we have to tell people of this country to understand what kind of party or what kind of people we interact now okay be that as it may sijawahi kuona chama chochote duniani kinasema hadharani kwamba kitamtengeneza wiso blower wa kwao ambao anaweza kumcontrol. Wiso blower hatengenezwi na chama cha siasa. Wiso blower anajitengeneza. Na hakuna wiso blower duniani ambaye identity yake inajulikana. Hayupo. If you guys mnafikiri mtaongea hizo utopian kind of argument tokeza tu kuone si dalili. Mimi siko kwenye harusi hapa kwamba watu wanione. And by the way I'm very handsome for those who have met me. Very handsome. Sasa ni tokeza hivi tupige picha. Mimi nimesha ningenijua mimi nimesha niuza I know that for fact. And I've been won. Kwa hiyo na play very smart. Kwa hiyo mnapoanza kusema vitu hivi vinatu irritate to the extent 
Kabomu watengeneza whistle blower wao maana yake ni kwamba awapige CCM wakikosea ACT wakikosea lakini kwa kuwa mna mcontrol yes waseme hamwezi mkaongoza nchi hamwezi mkapea madaraka kama hizo ndio sentiment zen nimemaliza hiyo ya pili jambo la vurugu na kuchochea ugaidi hawa watu wanasumbuliwa na shida ya elimu nafikiri mfumo wa elimu wa hili taifa unatakiwa ufumuliwe kwa sababu umetu ume ume ume, ume, ume jana ambao wana wana mentality za hovyo sana nimesikiliza club house yao nimesikiliza mamijadara yao mengine wanazungumza kwenye magrupu yao of course amwe wewe anajua natajwa mimi kwamba nimechochea nimewaambia waende wakatrain watu nje ya nchi wakirudi wachukue bunduki mapanga mashoka waanze kukata watu wachome vituo vya polisi wachome mashule mabarabara all those kind of stuff in all fairness mtakuja kuzungumza every one of you every one of you mlisikia nilichoongea kwa Maria nimetaja mtashika bunduki mimi mtu ashike panga shoka akamkate mtu nini sasa nasema ipabu tisiere msitumuge hapa nataka ta serikali wasikie kama mimi nimetamka hayo maneno kwamba watu washike bunduki washike mapanga mashoka wakakate watu naomba mtoe jina la mboe kwenye chaji zake za za, za ugaidi naomba muweke jina langu i'm ready kujit... kama nimefahamu hayo maneno yamesikika mahali mimi nimesema kwamba wakawe train washike bunduki mapanga mashoka wakate watu wachome vituo vya polisi moto wachome vituo vya mafuta naomba msubstitute jina la mboe muweke jina langu mimi ndio gaidi ambieni wanachama wenu waandaeni kisaikolojia mimi chama hiki na kiheshimu nyinyi wana mko mambo mko central committee mnajua polisi wana diary ya mwenyekiti wenu ina ina information zote za matukio aliyokuwa na plan do you want us to put this public do you want us to do that msiaminishe wanachama wenu kwamba kila siku mnaonea mnaonewa it, it does not work like that waandaeni wasikie very shocking evidence that was presented in mahakamani kuna maisha baada ya hapo chama kitaendelea hizo ni accident tu za kwenye siasa unafanya makosa watu wanakuona wana wana wana, wana kushughulikia leo mnataka kushift bade ya mambo ambayo yamekutwa kwenye diary ya mwenyekiti wenu ambayo polisi wanayo na wataipresent wata mahakamani kama ushahidi wanachomtuhumu mnasema mimi nimemwambia chukua achome vitu vya mafuta mimi kauli nimeitoa wapi sasa ni kweli niliwaambia mkatrain vijana. Training is broad. Sisi hapo hawa mnaona wanakaa hapo watatawala miaka mia moja mbele. Wana train vijana. Wana train watu. Walikuwa na chuo chao kule Kijamboni sasa wanajenga chuo kingine a master a, 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 a very classic chuo kiko kibano sikii. Na nakumbuka Bashiru wakati anaenda kuangalia kichuo aliwaambia hivi Watu wa kwanza kuja kwenye kichuo hapa hicho ya kwanza ni yule wa Ilinga kule nani ali hapi na Bashita. Mimi viongozi lakini ni waovyo ovyo. Wana train vijana kuja kuongoza. Okay. With all respect. Sio kwamba namdalilisha mtu yote nataka niongee. Okay, chakaba mmechukua mmechukua serikali eh. Kwa hiyo mbide mko mko. Waziri wa fedha na? Ambaye tutakaa atakuwa anatusomea economic models, my financial models. Nani? Niambie nyama nani? Chukua kundi lote la vijana uchadema waweke hapa. Nani atasimama bungeni atakuwa anatuambia vitu atusome models za uchumi tutafanya nani ata nani? Kubalini mnapoambiwa niliwaambia mkatrain vijana kama mnataka kuja kuongoza hii nchi. Na niliwaambia hiyo plan sio ya miaka mitano, hiyo ya miaka hata kumi mbele. And I went further to tell you with a very good heart kwa kuwa serikali na nyanyasa viongozi wenu wa juu hamwezi mkatoa hao akaoperate nje ya nchi leo mnageuza nimesema mchukue mashoka nimeshafanya hiyo resolution hapa kama nilitamka hiyo kauli mahali popote na hiyo clip mnazungusha mnakatakata hiyo clip sikite yote polisi wanasikia serikali inasikia tueni jina la mboe niwekeni mimi ndio nimewaambia hao lakini hao waliyosema mapanga mashoka kuchoma vituo vya mafuta moto mtayasikia siku yanasomwa kwenye ushahidi wa kesi ya mwenyekiti wao sasa kwenda kwenye detail hiyo lakini lies na spine na kushift goals haitusaidii sasa 
tuna miaka zaidi ya 20 tunajiita wapinzani and all that tuna heshima kandao ni watu kuna siku mtakuja kushika hiyo nchi kuongoza niliwapa mfano mzuri watu wa South Africa walileta watu Tanzania mazimbo walikuwa nasoma siku wamechukua nchi kule vijana tayari wako trained mzee wangu zuma bahati mbaya alikuwa nafikiri atakusoma ni tatizo kidogo lakini ndio hivyo kingine ambacho nafikiri it has to be in line with what i've said um, nafikiri ni, ni, ni kuwa na mapenzi tu na vitu wanavyofanya na kuamini kwamba nina jukumu la kuambia reflection yangu kwamba mwenyekiti amekamatwa hotelini kiongozi wa upinzani kama mnavyoita ni kiongozi mkuu wa upinzani hawezi kukamatwa kiraisi namna hiyo hana ulinzi hana vijana wa kumlinda kama ambavyo mnasema kwamba chama chenu kinapigania watu kinapigania chama kwa hali yoyote ile my, my thinking was you would have respond re, 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 kwenye kumlinda na mwenyekiti na kusema kwamba wanapokuja kumchukua mwenyekiti polisi waanze kufa wao kwa the, the, the interpretation was very simple tunapigana kufa na kupona kumlinda mwenyekiti wetu that was the interpretation sasa hiyo mmeichukua mmezoea kudanganya danganya mmezoea kuspine spine vitu mmezoea kufanya mihemuko nikaongea all this stuff left and right mmeleta commotion mmeongea vitu nyingi imeleta situation imekuwa explosive it's very unfortunate mwenye kitu huyu nafikiri anjifunze wewe umemvunja mguu dadoma katoka sio wapi huko anapanda hoteli wamemvunja mguu tena akambo na kusumbua sana sasa wewe huwa mao mnao kukilinda chama wewe huu hamna kumlinda mwenyekiti wenu na tukiwashauri ni vibaya sawa basi ni vibaya hamtaki hao ambao mwenyekiti yuko nao ndani mliwaajiri kama nani si ni walinzi wa mwenyekiti wenu nifunze ni kusikiliza msiwe arrogant sio kila kitu mnabisha bisha tu vingine ongeni sirini kwamba huyu bwana pamoja kwamba tumpendi huyo lakini yeye ametuambia hii hii kweli hii fanya hivyo kwani sisi hapo mnaweza mkakaa mkamchukua mwenyekiti wako kama ambao wamechukua mwenyekiti wako kaenda ukamchukua sasa mama sawa va basi kanzu tu sivi ba twende tuna can you do that you are wazi kuna kitu kingine siwezi kukita cha hovyo kwa sababu matusi hatupendi hata sisi wanasema walisema jana natumiwa na CCM na TIS leo mimi natumiwa na TIS lakini hii ndaisema hivi siku zote ukishindwa kujisustain kwenye siasa hasa siasa hizi za Kiafrika unatafuta an exit ambayo ni very soft ya kujustify failures zako kwa hiyo kusema watu wanaokinzana nao ni CCM wametumwa na TIS ni mambo aliyozoeleka na wamekuwa wanafanya hivyo miaka nenda rudi sasa tukishauri haya tukiwaambia haya inakuwa ni shida leo ni mwezi wa tisa sasa tunakwenda mwenyekiti huyu alizungumza kwenye kikao kimoja na fikiri morogoro kwamba watakuwa na kutano mwezi julai au something iringa kwenye kamati kuu wafanye maamuzi ya kuhusiana na hawa wabunge ambao wako 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 huko bungeni ambao wanataka kuwafuta wanachama au whatever mwenyekiti hayupo chama kimesimama chama hakifanyi kazi tukiwashauri haya tunawashauri kwa nia njema tukiwashauri haya tunataka muwe active sasa mwisho naenda mwisho um, kwa nini nilisema wanasiasa wa Tanzania na ajenda za zao iko hivi? Swala la katiba lilikuwa sio ajenda ya Chadema. I have number of calls na messages tulikuwa tunazungumza na mwenyekiti. It was not their agenda. Ajenda yao ilikuwa tume ya uchaguzi na mambo yao ya digital ni nini sio yao. Mwenyekiti akasema wanadual wana kwenye hili. Tena nikamwambia kwamba 
hamwezi mkataka tume ya katiba wakati tume inatajwa uh, tume ya uchaguzi wakati tume inatajwa kwenye katiba kwa nikitaka tume ya uchaguzi leo hamtakuwa mnatutendea haki sisi yangu watakubali wako very tricky kwa joto hili ambalo liko watakubali kule okay tutaweka uh, 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 representation kutoka kwenye vyama vingine kwenye tume ya uchaguzi watapita pita kidogo mtapata viti kule 40% 30% tutakwenda 2025 mambo yatakwisha lakini the main cause here ni katiba mpya ambayo ita address it once for all if we don't do it now hatutafanya tena lakini hili mnatakiwa mwe na mkakati how you move forward na hili ndio ni, ni mkakati wa kichama kabisa sio kuachia hawa bavicha sijui vitu ya hawezi ni kitu kikubwa sana hiki kwa sababu mkianza kuongelea hii watatoka watasisi wa, 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 watatoa big guns kuja kupinga hiki kitu kwa hiyo nataka ikutane na watu ambao wanaweza kuexplain tukamaliza hivyo sisi tulikuwa tuna movement yetu nyingine tunafanya kama uh, activists na tulikuwa tumeshajiandaa sana wakapiki hii agenda wakaenda nayo kama walivyo wana siasa nataka niwaulize na leo kwa tukifanya activism kwenye nchi hii tukidhani kwamba wana siasa ni sehemu yetu we making a very big mistake hawa intention yao sio ya kwetu hawa sasa tukiwa tunasema haya mtakato wa katiba sisi tulianza na tukao tuna strategy kabisa if you ask them today apart from kuweka mkutano what else do you do do you train people do you provide civic education to people they have no clue niishie hapo kwa kusema kwamba naumizwa na nimeumizwa sana na swala la katiba kuchukua mtazamo wa kisiasa na limekufa siku litakaporudi litakuwa la wananchi tutakuja kuzungumza CCM watakuja kukana sisi tu watazungumza tutapata katiba lakini for now kama liko mikono ya siasa i can guarantee you hakuna katiba mtaipata kwa sababu watakuwa na dini nalo kisiasa na watashughulikiana kisiasa kwa sababu wana means zao za kushughulikiana kisiasa kwa tukae tufanye vitu vingine siku tukija kurudi kwenye science kwamba sasa tunadhani katiba ni ya wananchi mtu amsha hata usiku saa tisa tutakuja niwashukuru sana sijapenda kabisa kujadili swala hili kiukweli ki yani niwe mkweli kama kiongozi na, na naona mnajaribu na, tuku na mnajaribu kumbrand tu huyo mtu ambaye kwa mtazamo wangu hana thought hana idea hana ideology yoyote hana falsafa yoyote kilichomfanya awe famous katika nchi yetu ni kuweza kupewa taarifa alizokuwa na post kazi ambayo any fool can do it sasa kumjadili tuna mambo mengi makubwa ya nchi ya ya kuyajadili huko kwanza ku discuss who is him by the way kwa hiyo kwa kweli kwa mtazamo wangu we don't need to discuss him tuna mambo mengi ya kufanya ya maana zaidi kuliko kumdiscuss huyo mtu kwa sababu hana falsafa yoyote hana hana ideology yoyote hana thought why should we discuss mtu yote kimpa taarifa anaweza ka post alikuwa anapewa taarifa tu na post watu wanaona kama ni hatari sasa tunampa umaarufu ambao hana hata maana kabisa mimi jana nilisikiliza lakini to be honest I was furious how can we discuss about this man by the way who is he where is he how he looks like kwa tuna discuss ghost unaweza kukuta labda kuna watu 200 wanatuchezea tunapoteza muda we have important things to do than him, than this kwa mtazamo wangu nashukuru nilienda Okay okay asante asante mheshimiwa Peter Msigwa kwa maoni yako. Okay sawa tumemmsikiliza mheshimiwa Peter Msigwa. Ah uh, genesis ya, ya ya kujadili kitu hiki tunafahamu uh, kigogo kigogo sio 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 mtu mdogo. Hafahamiki sawa lakini ana nafasi yake ali, alifanya kwenye hii nchi na kufanya kawa na wafuasi wengi. Uh, na huyu kigogo ni mwanaharakati ambako uh, alikuwa anaikosoa serikali na kutoa maoni yake ya kiwanaharakati. Ah kitu ambacho kwa namna moja au nyingine kilikuwa kinashabikiana na chama chochote kinacho aa, pingana na chama tawala. Sasa tunapoona watu ambao walikuwa kwenye side moja wanarushiana mawe. Lakini tulivyokuwa tunaangalia posti za Kigogo na press ya, ya, na ile yani ile sijui ni kama alivyokuwa anazungumza leo kwenye spaces ya Twitter aziifu ana ugomvi yani alikuwa anarusha makombora yake kwenye chama kwenye taasisi na sio kwa watu binafsi kwa tulitaka kidogo tuulizane hapa kuweka hizo rekodi sawa kwa ugomvi ulikuwa ni baina yake yeye 
na taasisi au na watu binafsi na inakuwaje hawa watu ambao walikuwa upande mmoja leo hii kuna kuwa na, na sintofahamu hiyo ndio ilikuwa lengo letu kubwa la kuweka kuweka rekodi sawa tu na tulisema mjadala huu tusingependa uwe mrefu sana eh tusingependa uwe mrefu la, lakini lienda samani tunaweka rekodi sawa anaamini nini zaidi ya kutu, kutuambia magufuli amefariki kutuambia sijui ndani kule kuna ugomvi yani hiyo falsafa yake ni ipi ambayo anataka alitupa picha ipi ambayo anataka Tanzania iwe mpaka tuseme tulikuwa kitu kimoja yani mimi mi, kwa mtazamo wangu na tunamwendelea kumkuza sisi wenyewe bila sababu kwa mtazamo wangu serious okay. na ana tunamkuza tuna, tuna, tuna shida ya tozo watu wanalalamika tuna shida ya ya, ya, ya katiba mpya tuna, tunatakiwa tuwaelimishe watu Let us forget about him kwa sababu kuna watu tulikuwa nao ndani hata ndani ya chama chetu wakaondoka. Wametuletea tabu wengine wame, wame, waliondoka. Yeye hata kuwa wa kwanza haja eh, sijui si, kama anaeleweka. Honestly mimi si si sijui. Si, 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 I'm sorry. Mshukuru msingi wa Somali. Ah uh, Lenda nikuwa tena kumuuliza mchungaji msigo swali kidogo hapo uh, wenda sawa yeye yeah, anaona mjadala sio sawa lakini pia kidogo ana wafuasi wengi sana ambao pengine wanamwamini sasa kwa kwa madai au tuhuma ambazo amezileta tusiponyimi hizo hizo tuhuma kuweka sawa uh, tuta, tutakuwa tunawaachia watu wengi wa made vitu ambao kigogo wameamua wao wa media au ni kwamba kuna kuna muhimu wa kufanya ili swala mchungaji tusibabaike na mtu kuwa na followers wengi ukiamua kuwa naked hapa you can get followers kwa hiyo just because someone ana followers not necessarily anachokifanya ni sahihi cha msingi hapa we have to do the right thing how do you unamzuiaje mtu kuingia kwenye nyumba yako ambaye ana magrisi amevaa ovaloli chafu unamzuia kwa kutandika nguo nyeupe vitu vyako vikiwa vyeupe akija na magrisi yake machafu ye mwenyewe ataamua kuto kuingia kwa sababu ataona atachafua tusiingie kwenye matope ya kucheza na kigogo kuna msemo mmoja unasema ukicheza miereka na nguruwe mtachafuka wote lakini nguruwe atachekelea sisi let us do the right thing let us teach the people the right thing vitu ambavyo ni sahihi tuwaelekeze watu utawala ukoje inchi ina shida ya employment kuna shida ya unemployment inchi kuna tatizo la umaskini Inchi kuna tatizo la elimu ya hovyo. Inchi kuna shida ya matibabu. Inchi tuna tatizo la, la uongozi. Let us teach people the right thing. Ha, un, u, tukiwaonyesha watu kitu halisi, vitu vya bandia watavijua. Ndio maana bankers wanajifunza zaidi kuijua noti halisi inapokuja noti fake watu wanajua. If we teach our people the right thing, vitu fake watavijua. Watu wanajua kwamba kigogo hana he can fall for anything. How, how how do we know kwamba ni tisi wanatuchezea why should we waste time about him mimi ninachoomba tujadili vitu vya msingi vinavyogusa watu kigogo anaweza kasema yeye leo ni CCM tutaanza kuomba CCM wa mifikini mangapi juu yetu ambao wana nguvu kuliko hata kigogo kwa hiyo tusibabaike na followers wake walio wengi sisi tufundishe vitu vilivyo sahihi tuelekeze vitu vilivyo sahihi let us teach our people our philosophy our idea as a part what do we believe tuna stand kwa na nini mlengo wetu ni upi kwa nini tunasema tukichukua inchi tunataka tufanye nini kwa nini tunaitaka katiba tuhusianishe na maisha ya watu ya kawaida hivyo ndio vitu vya msingi ambavyo vitawale bareti wa Tanzania kuliko kupoteza na mtu ambaye kwangu mimi naona ni ghost ambaye hana thought hana idea hana ideology hana falsafa sana sana ni kuchukua maneno na kuyaweka hiyo ndio jibu langu mwaipa asante sana mchuga yu chagama kishaidi unatakiwa kwa kishaidi vijana Train vijana ikiwezekana watu wengi nje ya nchi mwende mkawa train ili siku ninapoamua sasa kurudi kwenda kufanya movement ya kuikomboa hii nchi mna vijana wamekuwa train mna vijana ambao polisi wakitakuja kumkamata mwenyekiti hivyo wanaanza kufa wao kabla hajakuwa wajamchukua mwenyekiti hiyo haiji kwa kuongea hiyo inakuja kwa kutraini vijana hiyo inakuja kwa kuwapa vijana techniques za kiusalama techniques za kijeshi so to speak tumeshafika hiyo level mwenye kitu anakujali kuchukua hoteli na wanagonga mlango na fungulu wake na mchukua how how possible and no kama mimi kama kama na kamata data tu no sasa wacha wamesema si 
Shema Seba ni, 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 ni ku challenge. Hiyo sio inatokana na kwamba sisi tulikuwa tunaambiwa tuko kwenye nchi ya amani. Kwa hiyo bado tunataka kufanya kitu kistarabu. Hapo kutubia kwenye nchi ya Kiamani ya Maria, sio? Ni vitu ambavyo viko maithiko. Na ni vitu vingi. Huwezi kaniambia nchi hii ni ya amani. Polisi wanaiko wanabeba maboksi ya kura wanakimbia nayo. Huwezi kaniambia nchi ya amani, 